The video to follow is a news story about the dire situation in France regarding government dependencies that have spiraled out of control. This is the same path that America is following, so France is issuing a warning for the United States to alter its course or suffer the same fate. They're leaving. The wealthy, the best and the brightest. They're saying goodbye to a France they believe doesn't want them to succeed or become wealthy. According to one poll, half of all young adults in France would leave the country if they could, because the future looks so bleak. It's pretty tough to be successful in a nation where the president says he doesn't like rich people and where the taxes keep going higher and higher. And so the wealthy have hit the exits and more and more business people are saying they've had enough. The French have had it. French journalist Anne Elizabeth Moutet created a sensation in France with her story in the London Telegraph about those who are leaving France. It's the rich, it's the entrepreneurs, and it's the young who say, if I can, I will leave. If I speak a foreign language, I will leave. If I can go and create a, something somewhere else, I will leave. Moutet drew a lot of fire from the French establishment and media, so much fire that the attacks on her became a story itself. Well, the people who disagree with me think that I'm a traitor. They say, you know, you could say this in France, or, but you can't say this abroad. France still suffers from a toxic Marxist heritage. The French left hates what it calls Anglo-Saxon capitalism. But France today is trapped by a welfare state that is an addiction that it can no longer afford. A welfare state that is killing jobs and economic opportunity. Paris economist Jacob Arfaitsen. The entrepreneurial uh, young people of France, they are heading elsewhere. They're going to London, they're going uh, to Asia, they're going to the United States uh, because they want to to actually achieve something which is not immediately taken away by a state that says uh, you have, therefore I take it. This video produced by the Canadian government shows a French expatriate explaining how easy it is to make a new life in French-speaking Quebec. The most recent statistics available show that 26,000 French families left in 2010 and 35,000 in 2011. London is now called the sixth largest French city. French tax lawyer Jean-Philippe Del Sol has heard so many complaints from his business clients over the years about excessive taxes and regulations that he compiled them all in a book entitled Why I Will Leave France. And the problem in France, more than in all the other countries, is that taxes, the level of taxes, kind of taxes, is changing almost every day. Too difficult to manage a company in France, too difficult to hire people, too difficult to fire people. Last week, the man who said he doesn't like rich people, French President Francois Hollande, was trying to lure top executives back to France. But for foreign businesses, warning signs abound. French union workers have a habit of kidnapping their bosses when their demands aren't met. It happened again last month at the Goodyear tire plant in Amiens which Goodyear wants to close. When France's industrial minister tried to get Goodyear to reconsider, the American CEO in a leaked letter bluntly asked, how stupid do you think we are? I visited the factory a couple of times. The French workforce gets paid high wages but works only three hours. They told me that's the French way. Make no mistake, there are still plenty of talented and hard-working Frenchmen, many of them frustrated with the system. But Moutet says the political establishment and the media would rather stigmatize those who are leaving than face up to France's problems, which are deep. With an overlay of, uh, these are bad French people, uh, these are traitors, they're going abroad, we don't want them. When France's wealthiest man announced he was leaving over the nation's new super tax on the rich, he got the journalistic equivalent of a kick out the door. The full headline in Libération, the only headline on the page was, uh, get lost, you rich bastard. France is now undergoing both a brain drain and capital flight and risk becoming one of the poorer nations in Western Europe. And Jean-Philippe Del Sol had a warning for Americans, saying the U.S. is following in the steps of France with Obamacare and an exploding welfare state that will be unsustainable. The French can teach the Americans a thing or two about the trap of the welfare state and how hard it is to escape. Dale Hurt, CBN News, Paris.
After watching this video and understanding that America is indeed following the path of France, we hope that you now recognize that something or someone must alter the course of this great nation. We assure you, it's too late to be done at the ballot box. It will require concerned citizens like you to change the law of the land. We need to amend the U.S. Constitution to stop the bureaucratic machine. For our children's sake, please check the facts and join the resistance.